So glad you could join us on today. Welcome today. Thank you all for coming out in this, uh, this weather. It's a very exciting day. Uh, thanks for coming to our press conference. Today's a very important day for many young men across the country. Uh, so thank you for your interest in our students here at Southwest and our soon-to-be students. We're proud to be here today, National Signing Day, uh, and it represents a lot of work by both the coaches and the players and these young men you see before us. And of course it's very unique at community colleges because we also have a new freshman class coming in, but also we're also sending some young men, as you see up here, to four-year colleges. Three seasons ago, our football program did not meet success in any of its eight contests. Coach Tucker Peavy and his staff have improved our football program by leaps and bounds. This past season, we were four and five on the field, and we also had our first non-losing home season in over five years. The 2014-15 sophomore class had five members named to the MACJC All-State South football team. Two of the five were named to the All Region 23 team. So we've improved our lot. Also, academically, the football team had 17 out of 55 players this past fall with a 3 5 GPA or better, or 31% of the team. These young men are all eligible for Phi Theta Kappa, which is the International Honor Society for two year colleges. So that's success both on the field and off the field. And those are some very interesting numbers. Okay. Now that, that basically sheds light on Southwest is going in the right direction. And we appreciate the leadership provided by our president, Dr. Steve Bishop, the board of trustees, and we specifically appreciate all the efforts by Coach Tucker Peavy and his staff. And I yield the floor to Coach so he can talk more about what you want to hear today. Again, thank y'all for coming, Coach Peavy. see if I can stumble through this um, we um, obviously it's a day that's full of uh, kind of roller coaster emotions for us coaches here this morning waiting to see who signs who doesn't sign that you thought may sign and um, I think that's the way it is everywhere but I think at the end of the day here at lunchtime we're uh, we're on a, an uphill uh, side of it right now because we feel pretty good about the group we got coming in and I'm gonna, gonna talk about them in a minute but the first group I want to talk about is the guys that have been here with us and um, they've heard me say this, uh, you know, when we've had recruits on campus that uh, this group that includes these guys here will always have an extremely uh, special place to me because they decided to come play here based off of some promises that we made to them. Uh, uh, of what we were going to do here at Southwest, not only with physical things on campus, but with the academics and the way that we were going to operate and try to run our program here. And um, in my opinion, they came here on faith. And, um, you know, they have certainly done well and done well for us here and looking forward to a bright future for these guys. Um, the, the first group I'll talk about is because it was all right before Christmas and we were out of school and we weren't able to really have any kind of announcement other than through the uh, social media stuff. Um, I'm going to go through real quick all of the guys that were these guys' teammates that uh, signed before Christmas and they are now at their uh, respective schools uh, that they signed with. Terry and Steele and Jonathan McNair signed with Faulkner University. D'Angelo Ballard uh, with Alabama A&M. Tyler Stutzman with Southern Mississippi. Chris Jones, Northwestern State. Xavier Bingham, Jackson State, uh, Nicholas McDonald, Southern University in Baton Rouge, Travis Taylor at Delta State, and Jarvis Wallace at Georgia Southern. I think that was nine guys that signed before Christmas. And uh, so that's obviously a, a feather in their cap, and we certainly were proud for them and look forward to tracking them in the future. But now that these guys that are sitting up here at this table, um, again, it's a big day for them and their family. It's kind of a in some ways it's a loss for us. I wish they could all play here another year, but they've done what they needed to do. They, they accomplished some goals and they bettered themselves by being here. So um, at first, I don't have them in this order, but Omarius Bryant will sign with Western Kentucky. Um, Kelvin Williams, after he leaves his hat for me, he's gonna sign with uh, University of Texas San Antonio. The Kendrick Johnson with Delta State. 
Guy Stallworth with Gramlin State University, and we also have Rakeem Battle, who is signed with uh, University of Tennessee <coughs> Martin. So, um, again, I guess all total, that's you know, 15, 16 guys that are have signed, and I think we still have a couple more on campus that before it's all said and done that they will um, uh, find them a home at another four-year school because we're getting phone calls and that kind of thing right now on those guys. So um, I would like to take this moment and just give these guys a round of applause for what they've been able to do. Stallworth asked me, sees the camera back there, wondering if we were going to be on TV. <laughs> I told him they may air it on the Animal Planet or something like that. <laughs> but, um, but moving along to, uh, to to this year's group for us, again, as I said, uh, you know, always signing day is kind of a, a roller coaster morning. You're hustling, trying to see what papers come, what don't come. And uh, at the end of the day, we, we finished it on a high note, and I think that's a credit to these coaches for the time and effort and hard work that they have put in out on the road and getting guys on campus. We certainly feel like that once we can get a guy on campus here that we've got a chance at him uh, because everybody on campus that helps us with recruiting and uh, the visits when they're here, that they do a really good job. So what I'll do, and, and you guys may have a list of all of them. Uh, right now I believe we're at 23. We're still waiting on a, a couple more for sure, and um, uh, we'll finish that list up later in the, in the day. Uh, John Jolly, and these aren't in any, any particular order, uh, is an offensive lineman, 6'3", 285 pounds from East Rankin Academy. Um, Jalen Washington is a defensive back from Madison Central. Uh, Neil McLaurin is a quarterback from West Jones High School. Jordan Jones, a receiver also from West Jones High School. Delmon Landry is a defensive lineman from Ascension Catholic High School, which is located down uh, south of Baton Rouge a little bit in Donaldsonville, Louisiana. Brandon Bowen, an offensive lineman from Mendenhall. Jamie and Rush, a defensive lineman from Terry. Casey Haygood, quarterback from Centerville Academy. Cole Walters is an offensive lineman from West Jones High School. Michael Ware is a defensive back from Warren Central High School up in Vicksburg. Justin Pack uh, is a defensive back from Brandon High School. D. Edward Proctor is a linebacker from up in Jackson at Murrah High School. Tyrus Rags is a defensive back from Northwest Rankin. Milan Robinson is a defensive back from Knoxville County High School. Uh, Reggie Morris is a tight end from South Panola. Uh, Daryl Brandon is a uh, defensive back from Knoxville County as well. Sidney Davis is a receiver from Natchez High School in Natchez, Mississippi. Uh, Duke Dazzler is a defensive lineman from Purvis. Cody Slade is a deep snapper that is also from Purvis High School. Uh, Justin Hawthorne is a defensive lineman from Bassville High School in Bassville, Mississippi. Jaquan White, a defensive lineman from Wayne County. Jamal Booth, a running back from Seminary, as well as Dontarius McLaurin. Also, he is a wide receiver also from Seminary uh, Attendance Center in Seminary, Mississippi. So, so th th this is a, you know, at the end of the day, what you're trying to do is you're trying to kind of feel where you think you have needs. You know, and when you're in a two-year program, it's going to be pretty much spread out. But, um, I think we really hit a home run on a couple of spots that um, uh, we're in need for some depth and we're in need for guys that are ready to come in and play. And I, I think we're able to do, to do that with quite a few of these signees. And, you know, just like every college in the country, just like for these guys right here, you know, the, the places they're going, man, it's all good. Everybody's fired up now. But at the end of the day, what makes this recruiting class good is what do they do when they get here and how do they play. And uh, so I want to make sure that these guys don't forget that. Uh, as they're getting ready in this offseason and getting ready to play. I I'll say this, that this group up here is with us every day in the offseason right now. So uh, that they're treating this as though this is their <coughs> offseason and they're getting ready to go play and, you know, they could kind of be taking it easy on them in the afternoons and uh, laid up playing video games, watching TV and all that kind of stuff. But uh, we're getting them in the weight room and out on the track and stuff as well this time of the year. So, um, again, great day for, for Southwest Community College. Uh, both in the guys that have earned the, the opportunity to move on and further their education and their career, careers, but also a great day for us as, a, as our program here and the group that we have signed and, and have coming in to be a part of our football team next year. Um, at this time, that's all I've got unless there are any specific questions. We'll, we would be here all day if we tried to talk about each one of these guys that we've signed. So um, unless there's any particular questions, um, I'll turn it back over to Dr. Ashley. Good.
Again, thank you. Uh, also, as a role here at the college, I'm also in charge of student discipline. I uh, met with these sophomores after football season. I guess that was two, two and a half months ago. And I looked at them. I was going to give them the riot act and tell them to behave and all that kind of stuff. And then I looked at them and said, you know, I haven't seen any of these guys in two years. So we have utmost character, and it's showing right now at the finish line. Uh, I know they've got another journey to continue on. Uh, but as far as our institution, we've done uh, some things in the past two and a half years, three years, that uh, I hope we can build on and, uh, and it's part of you. Uh, the family and these young men. And again, thank y'all. I'd like to thank y'all for that too as well. <laughs> Those other young men that we signed today, uh, they found that this was valuable. And of course, the reason it's valuable is because of the contributions of those that are here now. So again, thank you for that. For that. A few announcements and then we'll have pictures for those who want to take pictures. Uh, tomorrow night, we're going to be playing here. Uh, 5.30 women's basketball, 7.30 men's basketball. I'm going to be playing Meridian. Uh, Friday, uh, we're going to open our softball season at Bishop State. Uh, and of course, Saturday, we're going to open our baseball season at Pineville at Louisiana College, Pineville, Louisiana. Uh, so those are uh, a few announcements there about current athletes. Also next week, uh, our, our home basketball game on the 12th, we're going to honor our 1974-75 women's team. Uh, this women's team was a fourth place runner up in a national tournament. And of course, uh, last year our women went to a national tournament as well. So we're going to also honor uh, the people that have come before us that have built the foundation that we're all standing on now. Uh, if there's no questions, then we're going to have pictures, and I'll let our media people direct everyone uh, for those pictures. Uh, again, thank you very much for coming.